Hello, dear 2023 jam candidates. I know your exam is in a few this time. Actually, in two days' time, today is Sunday, and I'm definitely going to be posting this video today. And your exam is on Tuesday. So I thought to share a couple of advice to you guys writing the exam. I think one of the most important things about this exam is to stay as calm as possible. And I also understand that many people might be so anxious and scared and worried about the exam. So in this video, I want to share some tips to stay as calm as possible, as well as sharing some general information and general tips that you should know concerning the exam and also some important things i've learned from my personal experience and from experience of jam candidates i've spoken to over the years now let's start with some ways to stay as calm as possible the first thing is to pray to god and put everything into god's hands the one thing i'll say is to stop giving room for negative thoughts and avoid things that make you lose your self-confidence now i know there are some activities you might be doing you know these activities that make you feel like oh god i don't know anything how am i even going to pass this exam try to limit or reduce these activities these activities could include practicing more questions or talking to some particular set of people that are always making you feel less of yourself now is not the time the exam is already here so want to try to remove anything that make you feel negative about the exam and want you to start thinking more positive about the exam the next thing to do is to change your mindset instead of worrying so much about all the things you don't know like worrying about so much stuff you don't know why don't you change your mind and focus on the little you know and make up your mind that you're going to use the little you know to the best of your abilities possible you know there is a lot the syllabus the utme syllabus is very big and it's practically impossible to know every single thing just make up your mind that you're going to be using this little you've learned to the best of your possible ability and last thing i think you need to stay calm is to come to the realization that regardless of what happens in the exam there's always an alternative route there's always a way out i think you should not take it as if it is the end of the world or just stay calm and try to put in your best now let's talk about some other important things you need to do and do before your exam and your exam day first thing is to print your exam slips have a hard copy of your exam slip and don't try to print it on your exam day because some people's venue is very very early in the morning second thing is to know your venue beforehand you don't have to be good there physically but you can ask people and make sure you know how to navigate your ways to the place easily i think it would be very bad for you to have prepared all this while just to miss your exam because you fail to locate your venue on your exam day on time or traffic stops you on the way to your venue so please make proper arrangement between now and whenever your exam day is the next thing is to dress moderately yeah there are some centers that do not allow immodest dressing please dress moder moderately this is not the time to wear your crazy jeans or mini skirts or sleeves less please just dress normally the way you would if you are going for an interview the fourth thing is to go with the material that are allowed and avoid materials that are not allowed. You know, your mobile phones, even wristwatch, calculators, all this material are prohibited as you will see on your exam slip. Even if you are going to be taking your phone, you know, there are always people around the centers to help you keep it and you are going to pay them a sum of money, except if you are going with someone. But if you don't need your phone maybe your center is not so far away from home and you can get home easily without the use of your phone i would just advise you keep your phone at home on your exam slip it's actually stated that you don't need to come with pen and pencil normally your exam center should provide these materials for you but you know the state of nigeria they may not provide it just go with it and if they ask you to drop it please drop it if not then they want you to come in with it because they're also going to be giving you a slip a paper where you are going to solve if you are a science student or you are doing any calculation subject you're going to have a paper and once you have a paper you definitely need the writing material the next tip is to try to be in your best working state as possible i believe you've noticed this that sometimes you are just performing better than other times but you know how to make yourself be in that state of optimal performance please try to be in that state so if you know you function better when you have some food in your stomach please try to eat before going to your venue and generally avoid food that will make you use the toilet very frequently and avoid taking too much beverages that will make you leave your exam to go to the toilet very frequently to use yourself from now start preparing your mind for the exam what i usually do before my exam is to imagine the exam scenario beforehand imagine 
how I want to do everything I want to do in the exam. Prepare your mind. Like it even works for athletes like that. Before fight, they usually visualize themselves fighting and they prepare their mind for the fight. So this is like this is almost like a fight. You're fighting with jam and you i know you are going to conquer so start preparing your mind that you are going there you are going there to put in your best and you are going to get the best results possible from the work you've done so far the next tip i'm going to say is to follow instruction and stay calm as possible yeah please when they've not asked you to start don't be in the haste to start just stay as calm as possible and listen to the instruction they have then follow the instructions when it's time to start the exam i would advise you say a prayer again you know you should be praying all time when you start your exam there's this feeling of for a vast majority of people your first few seconds into the exam might be quite scary your heart might pound and you know we all feel these things especially if you've not faced this kind of exam or, or you've not sat in such setting before so one thing that we i mean it has been proven by science is to just shut your eyes for a few seconds not several minutes that you sleep of just a few seconds shut your eyes and take deep breaths control deep breaths if you take deep breath and try to listen to your first heartbeat it's going to slow down and i also want you to know that that feeling of fear usually will dissipate as you progress into the exam so don't be scared that you are too scared at the beginning of your exam just make sure that this the fear doesn't make you do something you are not supposed to do now the next thing is to start with your strengths start to subject you find easy and do the one you find difficult later and the reason why you are doing this is because when you start with the easy ones your self-confidence is going to increase on the other hand starting with very difficult one might just make you lose your self-confidence from the beginning of the exam so I generally advise to start with the easy one i mean with the subject you generally find easy the next step is to not be afraid to skip questions that you find very difficult you know the complexity of all the questions you are going to meet in your exam varies some are things you know already some are things you don't know some are things that if you rack your brain very well you actually know the answer that's why i've been emphasizing on the word stay as calm as possible so the thing i'm going to advise is this when you see it's possible that the first few questions you know the way they arrange the question is very random the maybe the first few questions you are going to see are things you you don't really know that does not mean there are not so many other questions you can answer so letting that first few questions you can't answer well determine your mood and your whole experience through the exam can be very bad so if you are in the exam hall and you see maybe a few questions following each other and you don't know the answer or it seems very strange so you just know okay these are just the strange ones i know they are ones i know then you should skip them but try to come back to them later and another thing with trying to skip questions that originally seemed difficult to use that when you attempt the question and it seems difficult the question just i mean your brain has this way thing of solving problem without your own consciousness your brain tries to ruminate over these difficult ones while you are solving the simple ones so by the time you are done with the ones you know very well you can still go back to them and you'll be surprised sometimes that you will not have the answers to them the next tip is to try your possible best yeah don't give up on any question like i said before first do the ones you know very well the ones you don't know don't give up on them and try to answer them to the best of your abilities and i've made a video before on tips to know on how to solve mcq or how to perform better in mcq exams i think this video is going to be particularly also helpful so i'm going to link it in the description below you can also watch that as i was rushing to edit the video i noticed something important i didn't mention it is time management so you should learn to manage your time very well in the exam you're going to be having 180 question in two hours that's in 120 minutes and one thing you should know is that all questions do not require the same amount of time from you to answer some questions actually require less than 10 seconds but when you read the question as far as you re you're reading the question you know the answer or you know you don't like i've said before you can easily skip and come back 
to the question you skip later if a question is taking too much of your time skip it my general advice for you is to try to attempt all of the questions even if you don't know a question try to pick an option that seems most correct to you because there is no negative marking there's no penalty for picking the wrong option so try to answer or attempt all of the questions i wish you the very best my friend i wish you the very 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 best and i also want you to know i'm reassuring you that this is not the end of the world this is just like one phase of your life that is going to pass in like few years time you're going to look back and, and say to yourself oh, why was i even so worried about this phase but i feel that's how it is for everybody while we are in that phase it seemed like oh god can i even pass this phase will i ever overcome this mountain but you will you definitely are going to overcome this you're going to get into university to study the course you want to study and your future is going to be bright and you're going to be happy you're going to live a fulfilled life so thank you for watching if you think someone else is going to find this video helpful kindly share it with them if you have any question i'll be willing to answer them thank you for watching and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet